let's bring him on. You, I, if I just mention his name, you won't know who I mean. Ed Bagley. Ed Bagley. Thank you so much for having me. Wonderful to see you. You too. You're a tall drink of water, aren't you? I am, aren't I? <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five foot eight. Oh, you're perfect. Oh, you look at you as lean as a, and he's a vegan. Sit down, which means he'll eat anything. Now, oh my God, you're pale. You look, you make Edgar Winter look swarthy. I am very, yeah, I don't have a lot of melanin. You have no melanin. I don't think I have any. What happened to you? You look like you crawled out, you spent about 20 years under a rock and decided to well, say, today's the day I visit the sun. My father was somewhat pale. My mother was very pale. Really? Yes. His father, of course, won an Academy Award, the legendary Ed Begley Sr. Right. And did he go by senior or did he just go by Ed Begley? Ed Begley and left the junior, left the suffix to me. Left the suffix to you. What's it like? Is it tough? following the footsteps of an Oscar winner, because you'll never win one. I probably won't. Oh, probably. No, no, no. <laughs> L let me just help you through something. You don't have to say the word probably. That's kind of almost a waste of breath. So much, we, we need all the air we can get. You'll never, ever win what? an Ace Award, <laughs> let alone an Oscar. Are you out of your mind? I've seen the body of work. <laughs> I can't believe that you have an agent. So this word probably... I have a travel agent. I don't have an actual oh, acting Oh, that now. We're talking. So, you'll never win an Oscar. Probably not. And so, does it make you... It must make you feel a bit ashamed. I, to call I feel, yourself in I'm the same hopeful. profession what as your about, father. What about, you know, the one of the other awards, you know, for doing good work? Something like that. For doing you know, environmental stuff. You mean the Danny Kaye Award? Something like that. You know, being a redhead and dating Laurence Olivier, that thing? Yeah, or something for working, you know, with Ben and Jerry's kids or something. Oh, I don't know if, even then, I think they're more interesting names to, to nominate, because they want Angelie Jolie, they want I someone, when right. they show up, maybe a reporter will show up with them. You probably will. With right. you, will be a deck collector. It's the only person that will show up. I don't know how to defend myself. You're right. you, It's indefensible. I'll save the time. It's indefensible. <laughs> it's indefensible. Let's go over the, the the career. By the way, one page. You were insane elsewhere. 150 years ago. Thank you for remembering. And with Denzel Washington. And Howie Mandela was with Howie doing practical jokes and being funny. Was he funny? He was so funny. Always with a practical joke. Oh, I'm with a no. condom pulling over his over head. Over his head, it was like a glove, but it looked more like a condom. <laughs> <laughs> and do you and Denzel and Howie ever have sleepovers and remember the St. Elsewhere days or, or, or watch DVDs of Flavor of Love or old Moesha episodes? What do you do when you get together? Uh, Denzel and I went skiing on a few occasions, but. <laughs> We, we went skiing. Howie and I spent a lot of time together. We socialized the best. Are you okay? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Shit. Okay. Hold on. Get him down. Get down. Here. Get down the ground. Hold on. Clear the airway. <laughs> I sometimes find that when I'm choking, more food helps. It's funny how that works. But thank you for doing that. Thank you. So that much. was very kind. What were you saying? I was saying that. Um, right there, just in this. Sorry. Uh huh. I was just saying. That's that, not donut, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Um, I was just saying that I used to socialize with those folks a lot. I don't see them much anymore. Well, of course you don't, because they're. They're working in the industry. <laughs> well, they're. They're, they've got real agents. Right. They've got real dreams. They don't have a travel agent. They, they don't have, have a agent. travel agent. They're not driving a Prius and saying, look at me, I'm in a Prius. <laughs> this whole um, environment thing, is that in lieu of new headshots? It's it, Exactly. I get a lot of headshots for free from the green events. They give, they, there's a gifting suite and they'll do oh, headshots. That's wonderful. That's a wonderful story. Yeah. That's a wonderful story you just told. And you're going to be in this wonderful film, Recount. And that's about... The election in 2000. Yes. And who do you play? I play David Boyce, Gore's attorney. Oh, he's a winner. 
He is. Yeah. Well, he won in the Florida Supreme Court. They didn't prevail at the U.S. Supreme Court. Who plays the role of Chad? The Chad, well, that's not so much a person as it's an actual... So physical. Chad Lowe couldn't be given that opportunity. He couldn't unless there was some sort of a costume and they had dancing Chad or something, but... Well, he, I don't see why Chad Lowe, because that, he's, I think, a good boy. He's a good boy. What do you have against Chad Lowe? I love Chad Lowe. He's then a you, personal friend of mine. You wouldn't put him in your film? Oh, uh, I would love to have him in my film. Well, it wasn't up to the me. The film that you to... will not be nominated for. Well, I haven't seen it, not. and I know you haven't started, but I, I know. But what about maybe an Ace Award or uh, you say not, not even an Emmy? Not an Emmy? <laughs> an Emmy nomination? No. Well, not... I got nominated for St. Elsewhere. Yes, in 1961. It was 82 through 88. That you know, wasn't it was so a thousand ago. million years ago. You're and listen. I don't. When I sometimes I come across negligee, I regret it. You're old news. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're old news. Now listen, you're wonderful in The Mighty Wind and Best in Show. What's Christopher Guest like? He's a wonderful guy. A very oh, generous man. Always cracking jokes and being wacky. Cutting up all the time. Oh, 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 Always, oh, 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 like that. Doing that stuff. Yeah, oh, he's, he's wonderful. A, he's a real cut up. And where Always, you, like where Howie. Howie. Like Howie, Howie and Chris. Chris and Howie. Play. They're almost interchangeable. They are. Could Chris Guest do Deal or No Deal? He, could, he actually did the glove first. He did the glove before Howie, the, the rubber glove. On oh, the that, I oh, they're both you wonderful. You got to credit them. Well, this has been absolutely mediocre. I wish that um, if I, I can't wait to, to, to edit this. And it would be, a, it might maybe just a promo for, for okay. shows to come. But you are an absolute hero. He really is, he believes from the bottom of his heart that the green movement is important. And he believes that, that, that to, to conserve is a good thing. Am I quoting you right or do you I have are, the no, office? that's it exactly. That's well, me. I'm a big, 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 big fan, and I just wish I'd ever seen any of the work. That's my slight hang up. I never saw St. Elsewhere. I haven't seen A Mighty Wind. I haven't seen. What else have you been in? I uh, did a movie with Seth Rogen. Didn't see it. I've got a Woody Allen movie to start on pretty soon. D I, what's, I have, what's it called? He doesn't title them till after. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Ed Begley, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you Absolute so much. thrill. Thank Jimmy, you so thank much. You.